Hello there Aries and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we're doing a special reading. We're asking Spirit what you may still need to clear out at the end of Virgo season here before the season of Libra starts. So in Virgo it's you know September can be kind of tricky. <laughs> it's a lot of energies, emotions, situations that pop up that give us the inkling about what people, situations, relationships need to be removed from our life. And then we step into Libra season around September 21st, also the fall um, equinox, and Libra season is much more balanced. So Virgo season can sometimes be a little treacherous. <laughs> so if you are feeling, you know, triggered by a lot of emotions or wounds or situations or people in your life, be compassionate with yourself. Um, this is, you know, just a clearing out of things that you just need to clear out so that you can step into this more balanced energy. And we'll take a look at the present, um, the past, present, and future energies with the oracle cards and then get more details with the tarot. And if you're enjoying this reading or resonating with it, Aries, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, so let's get into your reading. We're going to first take a look at the present, um, the past, present, and future energy. That's funny. I've made that, I've said that twice. Okay, your past energy is orphaned. So there's a situation in the past that has, you know, brought you, um, you know, some disappointment, some heartbreak, making you feel um, a little bit alone. I'm also getting a sense of, you know, this a sense of will it ever work out for me, um, which I don't normally get with that card, but I am right now. Um, present energy is thinker. So in the past, something has happened and now you're just kind of like in this thinking mode, you know, um, just kind of reflective, you know, trying to look for the lessons in it. And then in the future, you have why. And, you know, I'm getting a sense that that's also understanding <laughs> how all of this has come together to put you in a much better place. Because when people, situations or relationships that leave our life, it gives us a more opportunity, more open space to allow new things to come in. But I get a sense that you're going to understand how something that was painful is now going to be bringing you into a much better spot to either manifest or to accept better things into your life. Fork in the road. Yeah, this is a decision. This is like a major decision that you either have to make or you possibly have made. Sometimes we make these difficult decisions and then we can feel really sad about them. But at the same time, they're still, they're, they're a good choice for us to make because it will help us to step onto a better path. Okay, so with the orphaned energy, we also have anxiety. Yeah. Well, Aries, I send you out lots of love and hugs. Uh, this is your past energy, but, you know, it's showing up in your reading, so you you, you could definitely be still feeling this. Um, something has ended. It's caused you a lot of anxiety. You know, maybe a lot of questioning. You know, how could I have done that differently? What, what else could I have done to save that situation or that relationship? And then with the thinker, we have indecision. Yeah, you're thinking about it, but you know, you have a fork in the road. You don't know what direction to go in. I, you know, despondent is kind of the word that I've been, um, that, you know, they, they said to me. For some of you, I think you're almost, you know, like this has really um, affected you so much that you're kind of almost like, I, I just, you know, overwhelmed. Like, I don't know which direction to go in. I don't know what to do, you know. And then why? <laughs> Door to romance. Really, um, you know, it is such a hopeful, and a lot of these readings have been this way. As we're ending Virgo season, it can be very difficult. Like, things come up from the past, you know. Decisions that you've made, you know. Um things like that um just kind of like almost overthinking them trying to get back into your heart space 
definitely give yourself a lot of love and compassion. Um, you know, allow yourself the time that you need to grieve whatever this is. But I love this. You know, you have the number 44 here, and then you have the number 33. And something has left your life, but it's opening this new door to romance. And then on the bottom, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So, you know, that's your uh, solar plexus. It's, you know, about your creativity, your sexuality, you know, coming into your romance, <laughs> rekindling the fires. Okay, so let's take a look. We're going to, with the tarot, we're going to look at your present energy. So we're thinking about, you know, what it is that you're thinking about, this indecision, not knowing how, wh what way to go. And then we'll take a look at your area of resistance or obstacles on your path, advice from spirit, and then finally the outcome if you take the advice. But you always can take whatever you have free will. You can make your own decisions. Okay, so right now, Knight of Pentacles, this energy that you have is just really hanging around for quite a while. You know, um, I think, you know, your past and your present is really showing this energy of something that's slow moving. Now, the only thing I'm going to say is that the nice thing about the Knight of Pentacles is even though this is slow moving, it's because it's trying, it's, it's in an effort to build something so much better for you that's going to have a strong foundation. So it really is important that you are taking your time. Like sometimes, you know, when we get into this, you know, um, energy, we just want to push out of it. But the sense that I'm getting here is that you really need to allow the feelings to come up and the emotions and to give yourself the time that you need to to heal these wounds to you know really put um you know to be reflective however whatever that means going into your hermit energy some of you could even be going through a dark night of the soul and it's it's really a sense of you know this is taking a while you may be even a little bit you know frustrated that it's taking you so long to get over a disappointment or a heartbreak but everybody heals at different um, paces and it's only because you're doing the work you're really doing your shadow work or healing inner child you know wounds or traumas or past life like you're doing the good work and it's it's really Nice that you are, because what it's going to do is heal your heart truly so that you can step into, you know, a new door of romance. Okay, the um, obstacle or your area of resistance is Nine of Cups. There is something that you really want. You're just kind of resisting it. You know, Nine of Cups is your hopes and dreams. So we're going to clarify these. So either you're resisting even putting out to the universe what it is that you really want or you're just blocking it. You're like, no, I'm just, I'm really not ready. And then your advice from spirit is seven of pentacles. You know, realizing that what you're doing right now is planting the seeds for something in the future. Um, and once again, seven of pentacles is kind of a slow moving energy. Like just kind of embracing that this is going to take time whatever this is, but this is your time and your energy, where you're putting your time and energy and being really, um, you know, mindful of where you put your time and energy, because what you are working on right now is going to, you know, is planting the seeds of what you will have in the future. And then you have page of swords. You know, this is learning something new. This could also be communication from somebody, um, or you could be communicating to somebody, but this is, you know, learning something new. I, to me, this is like you're gaining wisdom through this entire um, situation. And Ace of Pentacles, it's starting something new. You're getting kind of like a gift, a new way to go. A new path is opening up for you. Sometimes, you know, that new path cannot come until... Uh, we've done the healing or, you know, sometimes it's something else is being delayed and we're just kind of like in, in a stuck energy for a little bit. 
But I feel like, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, it is slow, moving slow, but you are progressing. And that's what Spirit wants you to know. Even though you may feel like, oh, I don't know, I've been stuck like this forever. It's um, a sense of, you know, yes, but you are making progress. You're moving in the right direction. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Fool, the Hermit. Oh my goodness, Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, you, you're moving into this new, and for some of you, spiritual path. Um, and with the Knight of Cups, it's kind of like embracing it. You're having a hard time embracing it, perhaps, but it is about embracing this new spiritual path, going in a new direction. And perhaps in search of love, like you may have ended a previous, you know, romantic connection um, and it's caused you a lot of sorrow and anxiety, but you're healing from that situation. You're going in a new direction and you're willing to, you know, express your feelings, move in this direction, but taking time, you know, with the hermit, it is about solitary energy you're fine with being alone until the real thing comes along and the knight of cups to me is always like you know a new a sweet energy coming in and be, and and being you know ready to express their their love and their feelings and you do have the door to romance <laughs> so that's nice okay with the nine of cups let's see what we have here Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, Hierophant, Six of Wands. So you're going to have victory. But here, you know, there is something that you really are hoping and wishing for. Um, I think, you know, for a lot of you, you're getting clear about, um, you know, the Eight of Cups is walking away, being on your soul journey, realizing that you're, you're changing. I think you're getting more clear about what it is that you want out of a long-term relationship. Now, this is what you're resisting. This is your obstacle. You're kind of resisting changing or changing your belief system around long-term relationships. Resisting getting clear about it. Perhaps even resisting walking away from a long-term relationship. Just having a, you may be trying to walk away and then at the same time, like having your energy shift back in. Um, you're trying, you know, there's part of you that does want to walk away and part of you that is still connected to this person or this situation in the past. It's like intuitively, you know, you need to walk away, but you just um, energetically cannot. So let's take a look at the seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles, nine of wands. Yeah, it's about, look at ten of wands. It's It definitely is an ending. And, you know, you have the ten of pentacles. It's an ending in something that you thought was going to be long term. You know, seven of pentacles is like starting over again. It's like putting your time and energy into something. And you may have put a lot of time and energy in this past relationship. You know, for some of you, you could have even been married to this person or thought you were going to marry this person. You put a lot of time and energy into it. And it's kind of like, do I want to start over? You know, like, do I really want to walk away from this? You're kind of dragging your feet trying to walk away. Like, you know, intellectually that you need to walk away. But you just energetically are, are having a hard time. You are starting to put up some healthy boundaries. You know, you're creating those boundaries. You're also getting the determination to move forward. Um, the Nine of Wands is the, you know, the wounded warrior. You've been through a lot of battles, maybe with this one person, with this one situation. Um, and you have, you put so much time and energy into it, but you're kind of determined. You know, I have to go for something that is long term. And this, you know... I think that that's what you have to decide. You know, is this person from the past really committed to go long term? You know, that's part of your fork in the road, part of the decision that you're having to make. Am I really going to put more time and effort into something that I don't think is going to go long term? Or am I going to start putting my time and energy in a new direction into something that is, you know, a able to go the distance? 
Now with the death card here, it is the ending of one thing and the beginning of something else. If you think you're going to reunite with this person, because I think that you're separated from this person, um, you know, it's ending the way that you were or the way that your relationship was in the past and stepping into a completely new way of doing your relationship. Um, but for a lot of you, this is ending this past cycle with this Virgo energy and really looking forward to the energy of the Libra season starting around the 21st of this month, right? Because, and having relationships that are more balanced. Because you do have the 10 of wands popping up a couple of times. You know, there's a big burden here from the past. Something that, you know, um, you're really wanting to step into a new world that is more balanced. And you have the strength. Look, you have the strength and the courage to do this. The universe is going to help you with this. Um, and remember, you have the door to romance here. It is about learning the lessons, though, before you step into a new romance. So really looking at the lessons that you need to learn from this past situation. Even if you're going to reunite, right? It's like, okay, we got we to gotta figure out how we don't do it that same way. Because you have the Page of Swords. This can be fine getting communication from somebody. Um, usually like a text or an email, but it's also, you know, learning some information, gaining some wisdom in this situation. We have five of cups, queen of cups, king of wands, seven of wands. Um, you know, there is a lot of sadness. I think you, you understanding the sadness of this connection, but you stepping in, I feel like you're kind of balancing out your, your love and your passion. You know, this is lots of love and lots of passion. And realizing that, you know, maybe this connection had a lot of love and a lot of passion, but there was also a lot of sadness with it. And trying to figure that out, you know, trying to figure out the wisdom, what made it so sad? What was the problem? Why did it not work out? Huh, very interesting. Um, underneath you have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Hangman. Yeah, you're really getting on top of this. So Aries, if you're kind of like, you know, feeling a little desperate right now about this situation or despondent, you know, it's, it's really about asking yourself, you know, why... Why didn't this work out? And not like in a pointing the finger at <laughs> the people in this situation, you know, or even to yourself. It's not that way. It's kind of like, why, what was the difference here? Because we have a Queen of Cups and a King of Wands. Queen of Cups is all about the emotions and the King of Wands is just about the passion. You know, why... I'm going to say, I think you may be the Queen of Cups, this King of Wands. Why why are you picking partners that are just about the passion part? You know, um, you know, the bedroom. They're all about the bedroom. And they're very, you know, very charismatic, very, you know, adventurous, fun to be with. But here you are, you're the Queen of Cups. You have a lot of love to give. And asking yourself... You know, why is it that I'm attracting or why is it I'm attracted to people that are a little bit more about the passion and not as much about the emotional connection? You know, perhaps even asking yourself, why, why am I always going for the romance? You know, I mean, King of Wands is very romantic. Why am I always going for the romance? Why am I not in search of my king of cups? I'm a queen of cups. Why am I not looking for the king of cups? And gender doesn't matter. It's just, you know, why am I attracting in this? Because it leaves me sad every single time. And I think that that's where, you know, that's the energy you're stepping into is getting the clarity, understanding why you do that.
And part of that is that this energy is moving so slowly so that you can learn that lesson. You know, you can, you're, you're having time to reflect about what childhood wound or what situation from the past has put you into a situation where you're choosing, um, you know, this type of partner instead of a king of cups. Um, I'm just going to pull three quick cards for um, further advice here. We have strength, six of pentacles, the world. Yeah, you're stepping into something brand new. You're, you're not bringing back any of this um, past energy. I wanted to make sure. You're st you really are closing this out. And you're doing it in Libra season because this is, you know, um, very balanced. You're doing it in Libra season. Like, I feel like the Virgo season, this may be even a situation that ended a while ago. And you're kind of like, yeah, why, are, why am I feeling sad about this? Why is this coming up again? Well, it's really because there's something here that you need to learn. There's, you know, it, not that you didn't learn the lesson, but it's kind of like you may not have truly stepped into it. And there is something really good. There's a king of cups on your way. And the universe is like, okay, we got to close this out so that we can get you ready for this. So this could be a really difficult energy. You know, the whole month of September may have been a little bit of a difficult energy for you. And you're like, I just don't get why I'm still wallowing about this. But it's because they have something really good coming in in Libra season. And you have the strength. You have the courage to move forward. You know that, Aries. And then look, yeah, you're ending this cycle and you're totally starting a new cycle with somebody new. Door to romance. I really don't think, I don't get a sense that you have somebody really returning from the past. Now, I'm not saying that that person may not reach out to you, which could be a trigger, <laughs> right? It could be a trigger. The universe could say, hey, let's bring that person back so that you can rehash this a little bit and we can clear out some of this energy because we have somebody better for you on your path. Okay, because it is interesting. You're holding out for a Knight of Cups in the very beginning, like a new start with somebody that's emotionally able to share their feelings. Okay, and here's your cosmic journey. Fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. This one has actually been coming up quite a bit lately, you know, about really changing. Like, I, I, I get a sense uh, from a lot of my uh, readings that I've been doing is that we really are moving more into a sense of love, of loving each other and on a much um, deeper level. And so I think that, you know, you, for some of you, you could be, you know, kind of like a leader in that, you know, stepping into being a change maker. Okay. And here is your lover's oracle card. It says only time will tell. This card has been coming up too. Um, you know, I feel like for some of you, you, you may, you, you may be kind of like doubting, is there really somebody out there for me? And it's kind of like, I'm getting this uh, and it's not a joke. I mean, it's not funny, but it, they're kind of giving it to me like, well, only time will tell. It's that type of energy. Well, we'll have to see. Um, but it's kind of like with a smart because they know that there is somebody on your path. And it's just about clearing out this energy. But it's kind of like, yeah. It's almost like they're, they're, my guides are saying, we, we know. And it's our secret to keep. It's kind of like that. Only time will tell. Um, Aries, you do. You have this door to romance opening up for you. And it is about clearing out whatever this past energy is. And you do have the strength to um, step into this new world and have a much more balanced romantic connection come into your life. Well, Aries, I hope you really enjoyed this reading. I enjoyed doing it for you. And if it resonated with you, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I do wish you much love and light, um, especially as you're kind of trans versing through these feelings. And um, I will send you lots of love and hugs for that. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.